The last thing I need to do to wrap up this drawer front is to give some sort of a cross bracing. Just need a better connection between the top of the drawer face and the drawer because there's a lot of torque down here at the current connection and when you pull on the top of it. And another problem that I gotta fix is this drawer front. While it's been waiting a few days, weeks for me to finish this project, you can probably see it's warped slightly. So the game plan is to add a couple pieces of angle iron here on either side of the drawer running up the entire drawer face. Now when I screw those pieces of angle iron into the drawer face, it'll pull it flat, but also that'll give me something to add cross bracing to from the drawer face down to the drawer. So we're gonna call that one a win. Hey, thanks for watching, and thank you to Arbor Tech for all their continued support again this year and for making this video possible. You saw me use the turbo plane to carve the slats for the doors. I used the mini carver for rough sanding and then the contour sander for the final sand. Now, Arbor Tech is offering a significant discount on the mini carver exclusive to my viewers for a limited time. It's a super versatile tool, good for carving, shaping, texturing, and sanding. And I don't want to say I'm judging you for not having one, but I am. Details are down below for all the power carving tools that I use to complete this project so you can learn more about them. Now also worth mentioning is this is the first time they've offered a discount on one of my videos. So if you've been eyeballing their tools for a while now, it's probably a, a good time to jump on it. For the details on the cabinet construction and also the super unique countertop that I made for the island, be sure to watch both those videos as well. But that's it for this one. Thanks again. Be sure to come back next week for the struggle of a build that is a convertible butcher block pallet wood countertop. Who would have guessed?